well done. You guys are doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that, that should be there, right? Yeah. Okay. Well done. <laughs> I like it. I like the arrangement. I think that should be all. Yeah. Anything? No, nothing else. This should be all. I like the arrangement. It's really nice. Okay, quickly lock up. Hmm? Let me go upstairs and inform the boys that are set to leave. Is right. that okay? All right. Thank you so much. You guys, well done. And I'm guessing you're ready? I am ready. <laughs> you ready with me? Uh-uh. Mm -hmm. Do I have a choice? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, sis. Hmm? I still do not understand why the client would want us to come cook the food at his place. I mean, we can as well cook it here and perfectly well too. This is one of my biggest breaks yet, okay. all right? And it's not every day that you get an exclusive contract to cater to a thousand guests. Babes, this is a creme de la creme, kind of, sort of, kind of marriage, all right? So everything goes besides, what's our motto again? Customers, satisfaction, guarantee. There you go, you see, you see? So if you say Timbuktu, you jump to Timbuktu. <laughs> nice in which I feel so small beside you. Oh, and finally, I get to meet the face behind the delicious delight. <laughs> Thank you so much. My name is Chineye. My customers call me Neye. You can call me that too. Okay. And this is my business assistant and sister, Oma. Oh, nice to meet you, Oma. My name is Valerie. I have the right to be. Yes, you look like the right to be. <laughs> okay, so why don't I just take you both to the BQ where you will stay? Oh, perfect. Right? Okay, right. this way. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think that's it's somewhere. <laughs> Of course, it suffices. Okay. I'd also like to urge you to drop the formality. Naya will do. Oh, okay. Naya, it is then. <laughs> so, Naya, please, um, my emails will be coming later today. My fiancé has gone to the airport to pick them up. So, I would like for you to make something light and refreshing, if you don't mind. Absolutely not. Yeah. And that's why I'm here, right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'll just go now. I'm late for my dress oh. fitting. I will see you later. Yeah. All right. <laughs> You see the house? I mean, you just see the compound? Christ! Some girls just have all the luck. I mean, obviously, her fears must be loaded. 
You can say that again. Of course I can. Of course I can. Like I said, over and over and over again, this house is beautiful. The compound is amazing. Huh? We finally arrived. Mama, the flight was right on schedule. It's just your vastness to air travel that got to you. What do you expect? Eh? When somebody will be killed in that horrible contraption to call air flight or airplane <laughs> for hours. Mama, mama can complain. <laughs> uh -uh. See, mama, listen, let me tell you. You better start getting used to flying in that contraption thing that you call it. Better get used to it though. Because once my relocation plans finally works out, you'll be flying in an aeroplane to visit me in Obodo Ibo. Mm, Until then, eh, America, where is my daughter in law She's not around. What do you mean she's not around? She had her dress fittings for today, so she had to go. Mm, I see. Take me to my room. Okay, I'll meet you in the car. I'll send someone to the car. Yeah, don't yeah, worry. I'll do that. <laughs> hey! What are you doing? All right, Mama. Out with it. What's bothering you? Adora, tell me. What kind of a wife would choose to go out instead to stay and wait for her mother-in-law to come? If it were to be Chichi, my daughter-in-law, she will stay and even prepare my favorite meal. Your, your ex-daughter-in-law, you don't mean to say. It's been three years ever since Emeka divorced his ex-wife. I can't believe you're still hung up on her. That is because a good wife is hard to find. Hmm? Mama, can you listen to yourself? Huh? Now listen to me. Emeka and his ex-wife have parted ways and life must go on for my brother. I advise you drop any prejudice you have towards Valerie so that you guys can get along easily. From the look of things, she's the type that likes uh, fixing nails, going to cinema, eating takeaway food and take home food <laughs> instead of her to stay and cook food for her husband to eat. <laughs> Jesus, Mama, this girl. You're so impossible. <laughs> Mama, so you know, there's nothing wrong with going to the cinema eating takeaway food or taking out food as you call it. I think the idea of being a good wife is an archaic notion. God, what do you even know? Do you people? I I perceive something delicious. Ah, this reminds me of your first wife cooking, Chinene. Amemi, ah, could it be that uh, Valerie has come back to her senses and returned to prepare me for? Mama, Valerie is not back yet. She's still not home yet. Besides, she employed two caterers to prepare a delicious meal for you for dinner. Mama, tell me, did you just say Ketra or you meant to say your cook? Yes, I said Ketra. You don't say. You would have warned me that we are having a fiesta, so I'll bring my podgy medicine along. Oh, come on, don't be silly. Excuse me. Excuse me. Mama, it's enough now. Oh. Oh. Ah, finally, Madam Oma. I can hear voices from the living room. Please find tell them that dinner is ready. I'm sorry, Doctor. Are you okay? Yes. Alpha, Amy, is it ready? 
너무 자취해. 아. 진 o 진 o 진 o t understand. What is your ex-wife doing in your kitchen? 진 o 진 o 진 o t t o u c h Don't touch me, Emeka. Don't touch me. Just calm down, okay? Don't think you're overreacting. Take it to Paper Panache or something. Oh, you think this is funny? You think this is some sick joke or some nightmare? You know what? That's it. I call it quits. That's it. I'm done. Quits? Why? Because you saw me here? Because I'm related to people that I employed to come cook for them? Because I cannot stand your insufferable presence. So help me, therefore, to tender my resignation to the intending couple, Valerie and the spouse. I'm done. Chine. Chine, listen to your family. Yeah. That's true. Time to get up and get dressed. Now I've taken the liberty to pack our things, so all I need for you to do is just get up, get into the bathroom, have a shower, and then get dressed. Where are we going to? Home! Where else? I don't understand. <sighs> I thought we just came here for a job. Well, the cooking contract has been cancelled, Omar. Alright? And before you start with your barrage of questions, know this, that I'm not in a congenial mood, okay? Whatever you say, sis. Please! Already? All right, and thanks. Wake up. there is something I'm here to understand. Only. What is it you don't understand? Eh? It's about uh, what transpired in this house last night. To say that I was shocked to see her, I'll be putting it mildly. Mama, I saw your daughter in law, Chichi, mind you, in the kitchen. She happens to be the caterer that they hired for the wedding. How does it mean that? Does it mean that the maker and Jinnye? No. It's not possible. I mean, the maker cannot be planning for a wedding and also be planning to reconcile with Jinnye. It's not possible. Mama, I don't think so. What happened is um, Emeka and Valerie hired Chinye without knowing who she truly was. That's just what happened. Hey, how could there have been such a mistake? I don't understand how. But the mistake has been made. Mama, I'm just wondering what Valerie would do when she finds out the true identity of the person she contracted to cook her wedding meals. I don't know what is going to happen. <laughs> That is going to be an interesting part of an event. Interesting. <laughs> Maybe God is trying to tell Emeka, my son, something. Mama, God is not trying to tell Emeka anything. This is just a mistake. And it can be corrected. The problem is that you're just too biased for your own good. And I don't know why. You children think you know everything. Listen. What an elder says while sitting down. A child cannot see it, even while on top of a tree. <laughs> oh Diego, Mama. Mama, see. You are not seeing anything sitting down. Just drop all this your cake at the edge. You are going back to bed. Whatever we forget, they will help us dispose. Let's be going already. What is it? What's all this rush? What's so much in the haze? What's happening? I don't understand. Ha ha ha! 
<laughs> God, I miss you so much. If not for my auntie and her old ways of you have to be officially married with him before you go live with him, I would have been here. Don't worry, just three more days and we're good. We can't wait. I can't wait <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. I miss you so much. Miss Naye and her sister Miss Omar. Miss mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, Naye. That's me. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure is is is, is mutual. <laughs> <laughs> so, Miss Naye. Yes. I'd have thought that by now, as successful as you are, oh. that uh, you'd have men falling in love with themselves just to marry you. <laughs> well, make no mistake about that. They are falling over themselves to marry me. But you see, uh, my experience with my ex wasn't so delightful. You see, my ex is, you see, my ex was a scumbag. So, I'm sorry, did I say was? My ex is a scumbag. So, I'll have to pass on on those guys. Sorry. Okay, okay, Miss <laughs> yeah. but you don't have to write off all the men for one bad experience. Oh, Valerie, you have no idea. I actually pity the girl or woman that ends up marrying that kind of guy. Like, yeah. that's life, right? <laughs> okay, but what's the point of love with this? Is, is oh, it oh. okay? Actually, <laughs> no, everything is not okay. We, we, you see, we cannot stay in the BQ anymore, okay, because uh, <clears throat> there's a water leakage in their room. So I have decided for them to come and stay in our guest room in the main house. You know, so that way, you know, when it's fixed, we can, like, you know, move mm, back there. The okay. Time you know. So, babe, why don't you just go see um, Mama? She's been dying to see you. Mama, oh God, yes, I forgot. Exactly. Um, okay, um, oh. Maya and Oma, please come along with us. We'll show you to the um, guest room. Right away? Yeah, please. Yes, oh, please. Of course, come on. Don't go back, sir. Not believe that Emeka is Valerie's fiance. <laughs> Sis, your ex husband is the groom in the wedding you were hired to cater for. <laughs> now I realize the reason behind your sudden decision to leave. Well, now you know. Yeah, I do. Does it mean he owns this house? <laughs> I mean, obviously, right? Who would have imagined? That your Emeka will end up being so wealthy. Hmm? I understand you though. I, I know you never knew that he was the groom. Else, you would never have taken this contract. Damn right. Yeah. Damn right I wouldn't have taken this contract. And for your information, FYI, he's not my Emeka. He seems to be that three years ago. I don't care whether he's rich, wealthy, or poor. I don't care anything that concerns him. So please, spare me. All right. I'm sorry before you bite my head off. But what are you going to do now? Because obviously, Emeka still wants to take this job. I don't care what Emeka wants. I don't care. I couldn't care less. Six. You are not sounding very professional, you know. If you ask me, I would say let's take this bag and go to the guest room as they say. <laughs> okay, just take this job as a professional that you are. To hell with professional. I see what's happening here. Okay, you can stay back and continue with the paid contract, but I am out of here. But just know this that that will be the height of disloyalty to your sister. I'm out. 
person on my ass. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Look, you can't make me stay if I don't want to. It's still my prerogative, okay? Since when did you become a coward, Chinea? As far as I can remember, you were never one to run in the face of challenge or danger. What happened? Or could it be that you don't treat yourself around me? Or you still have feelings for me? <laughs> You know, that's, that's really funny. So don't <laughs> flatter yourself, Emeka, really. Because I got over you so fast, I couldn't believe myself. And if I have any feelings for you whatsoever, it will be that of, um, what's that word? Like, irritation, <laughs> disgust, you know, total aversion for anything that makes you, you. Is that so? Yes. Well, if that's true, then why aren't you staying here? <sighs> why are you running? Well, duh. I mean, aren't you worried? Well, don't worry about that, okay? Where's this job? We want to do it. Oh, my name is not Emeka. You can't make me. By the time I'm done dragging your name across all social media platforms in and out of this country, you wouldn't dare. Get back to work. Did you just. Did you just threaten me? with you. Your behavior is totally unprofessional. And I don't blame Emeka for threatening you at all. Is that so? Yes, Nay. It is so. You want to leave your client high and dry. And to lose a whole lot of money and your good reputation. Because of what, sis? Little wonder any accused you or say happy feelings on you. <laughs> I'd rather hug a reptile. That we take feelings for that cheating viper. Oh, I get you. I understand you. That is why I want you to take this serious. This is your job here. You have to be strong and prove to everyone around you that you have moved on. You've gotten your own life now. Okay? But he hurt me. He hurt me. You of all people know how much he hurt me. And how much I had to work this hard to be where I am today and who I am today. You should know I understand you. If no one does, I do. But sis, you are not a defeatist. You are stronger than this. You can do this. Prove to everyone that you are strong. That you make her prove to him that you have moved on. And you are a professional in this business. You can do this. So I would like to make some adjustments to the meal. Okay. You know, initially we agreed on 400 plates of emerald, which is the Chinese meal, right? Yes. Yes. And also 350 plates of the diamond, which is jollof rice, fried rice, and its assortments. And then lastly, the gold, 250 plates of that, which is everything African. Yes. Which brings it all to a total of 1,000 plates mm -hmm. for 1,000 guests. So exactly. where exactly would you like us to make an, an adjustment? The emerald. I would like to um, reduce the emeralds to 300 plates. Okay. Then I would like to make the gold 400. Since it's all mm. African and most of my guests are Igbo, so I'll make it 400. Then lastly, the diamond, I would like to increase it to 300, mm. making it a total of 1,000 plates minutes. still. Okay. Yeah. Right. Good. Uh, I'll make the adjustments appropriately. Anything else you'd like to adjust? Um, no, but if I think of anything, I'll let you know. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, well, today I'm going to the market to get more of my supplies, so um, I think I'll need that info before I go there. Uh, you know what? That's about it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yes, okay. that's it. All right, then. Okay. Thank you for your time. I just met with the maid. Sure. Right. <laughs> Ada, good morning, ladies. Good morning. morning. Still hanging around here, I see. Um, obviously, I am a daughter. Yeah. Good morning uh, to you, too. Ada, she's obviously my Ketra, remember? So she would still be hanging around. Yeah, I never forgot. Only that I thought I should have left by now for very obvious reasons. 
Obvious reasons. And what obvious reasons is she talking about? Um, from the horse's mouth to you, I have no idea what she's talking about. Um, supplies? <laughs> is everything okay? Nothing at all. Everything is fine, my wife. So tell me, how's the wedding preparations? Yes, I was just talking about adjusting plates of food. Because you know we'll be having more food yet. Well, what did you expect? Are you expecting Adora to welcome you with open arms? <laughs> See, you divorced your brother, remember? <sighs> Who need I remind you that think the sun rises and sets on his behalf? Uh, uh, uh. They are a like I do no wrong. Uh -huh. Innocent man that you left. <laughs> Little did they know that your innocent Emmy is a lying, chauvinistic pig. So, believe me when I tell you, I do not envy Valerie at all. Well, if you left your brother, I expected you to treat you that way. Try that Adora. I get it. Yeah, 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 whatever. <laughs> I'm crying. I left. This is your wicked person, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm so over it, like, I can't even be bothered at all. Yes? Oh my goodness! No freaking way! Nay, you're here? I am. Wow! I thought you told me you were here, but I didn't believe it. Wow. It's good to see you! And of course, you, Oma. <laughs> wow! Look who's here. Uche. <laughs> Fresh boy. Mm -hmm. Don't look bad at all. <laughs> wow! Come here, hug me. Oh, wow. It's been a while. Wow. We're sitting down. We can do it this way. <laughs> 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 nice. Wow. Don't look bad at all. Look at me. What do you uh -huh. think? This please, please. I'll be looking at the top scenes and I want this top. Are you joking right now? Uh, Who asked you first? Uh, uh, okay, okay, I'll go with you. This is me! It's not fail. This thing I do is not just one day. It's not your pressing. Tell me your size. I mean, look at the... Don't go go there. I can see where it is. It will enter. Wow. What's happening? Nothing has been happening. I'm just trying to put one or two together. You know, my elder brother's getting married. Mm. Oh, no, I'm the next in line. You know okay. <laughs> okay. Wait, wait, that's the of You understand? I might just see one on that day. <laughs> this thing called love, the type that comes from above, it's so powerful. And wonderful, it's like a gift passed from God. Oh, when it fights you, you'll be hooked. Oh, when it fights you, you'll have no choice but to love. It doesn't matter, oh, who you are, whether rich or poor. You, you have no other choice but to love and be loved and be done. Ah, no one can stop it, no matter what they do or say. Oh, because it's the kind of love from God. The love is a gift from above. True love is a gift from God. Love is a gift from above mm -hmm. True love is a gift from God mm -hmm. Love is special True love is special To love is not a crime Oh, trying to fight it is a waste of time when you see two people in love oh let them be let their love be don't try to stop it don't try to kill it don't try to destroy it it's a gift from my birth but they have it's so special sure and <laughs> mm. I'm taking, I mean, in comparison to the 
young, um, inexperienced, naive girl you married three years ago. That part. Well, yeah, I mean, you're really good at what you do, at your profession. I'm really impressed. Thank you. You're very kind, sir. So tell me, why aren't the guys flocking you the way they should have been? Because you are really uh, successful right now and your reputation, too. I was thinking, like, by now you should have been married and you know, stuff that you want that. Remarriage? <laughs> really? No. I don't think that I'm caught up with all that drama. The drama, the dishonesty from people, from men. No, not for me. Say that because of me. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, you are inconsequential in the equation of things, if you ask me. It's just that I have friends, and most of them have been raised in marriage. So, I've come to the conclusion that marriage in this part of the world, men think that it's just a game, not something to be taken seriously. For me, you just get pregnant, become a single mother, and you're cool. What the hell, Emeka? Are you trying to... Do you want to hurt us? Yeah. Yes? Tell me you're not serious about what you said. What part? That men are stupid or that I want to become a single mother before? Single mother part. Of course I'm serious. No, you can't be serious, okay? Chine, you, I forbid you from doing such thing, okay? You will not... Excuse me, and who are you to tell me what I dare not or do try? Can you, can you even listen to yourself? <laughs> the nerve. Hey, I make us. <laughs> no, I swear, I was afraid to show up. Good to have you here, man. Good to see you, man. How, you How can I? Come on, I couldn't have missed the opportunity of being the chief groomsman. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I'm fine. Why are you feel? You're looking beautiful. You're welcome to our home. How are you? Well, I'm fine. <laughs> you're really taking care of your wife to be. <laughs> I'm sure your trip was really very tiring, so why don't we just go inside so you could freshen up? Oh, you lead on the phone. Come on, come this way. <laughs> yes. Oh no, it's fine. That's all what's on the bridge. No need for apologies. <laughs> really. It's not important, really. Okay. So that's good to hear that. Okay. So if you don't mind me asking, um, <clears throat> why don't you tell me? Like, how do you want to go about this whole baby mama thing? Um What do you want to know? I'm just curious, you know, since you're the first lady I've come across who is willing to, you know, partake in the whole thing, not for monetary reasons or the likes of it. Well, <clears throat> don't get me wrong. I mean, I love children and I'd like to have one of my own, but being that I never, ever want to remarry, I think the single mother thing works for me. <laughs> mm, okay. Yeah. Well, that's fine. Mm -hmm. And so you're going through this whole thing, like with the whole artificial insemination process, you know, since you said yourself, <laughs> you don't like men. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get that idea from? Just because I don't want to remarry doesn't mean that I don't like men. So, you, you, you mean that you're going to sleep with a total stranger <laughs> just because you want to get pregnant? But of course, Emeka, I mean, that's one of the best ways to have babies. <laughs> Besides, you of all people know that I love and enjoy sex and I'm not going to pass a good roll in the hay just because some men 
and monkeys. Chine! Chine, wait! Since when did you become so reckless? So loose, so... How dare you! Yeah, man. No, you need this. Not after that very hot slap I witnessed. How could you make a contract your ex-wife to be your catcher on your wedding day? A stroke of bad luck, I guess. Emika, I don't actually believe in luck. Whether good or bad, I don't subscribe to that. Oh, I know. Can't believe this girl wants to drive me crazy. Can't believe she wants to sleep with a stranger just because she wants to get pregnant and become a big mama. I mean, who does that? I mean, the girl we're talking about here is your ex. Your ex means done with, terminated. It's none of your concern. I am going to make it my business, okay? Because there's no way I'm going to allow Nenye to commit such atrocious nonsense. Okay? It's my concern. I have to, I am concerned about it. I mean, you're surprising me. <laughs> there is more to this than eyes can see. Mm -hmm. Mama, good afternoon. Mama, now. Have you sworn to never speak to me again? What do you expect me to do? I should start jumping up. Hey, Chichi, you totally rejected us. Mama, I didn't reject you. I never, I, I couldn't possibly reject you. Yes, I did divorce your son, but remember that we were once best friends? So how could I possibly reject you? Chichi, why? Ma? Why? I pleaded with you. Did my son commit murder that you could not forgive him? But you choose to block your ass. You are wicked. Mama, please don't say that. Mama, you will not understand. My God, do you understand? Listen, forgiveness was created simply because there must be an error. Mistakes that need to be forgiven. Mama, I am not. And I understand what you just said. I have forgiven Emeka. I mean, even though it took me a long time to forgive him, I finally did. And I am happy for him that he's starting a new life tomorrow. Right. Valerie is a good girl. Yes, but according to the word of God, you and Emeka are still bind together till death. Valerie is only but a concubine. My son's adulterous partner. And it is your fault. Mama. Don't let Valerie hear you describe her like that. She, she won't be happy. But that is just the truth. No, Mama. Not in this day and age. It's only religion that forcefully binds two people together, even when there's no love lost between them. But the word of God stands sure. I agree. But, notwithstanding, <sighs> Emeka is getting married tomorrow, so I guess I'm hoping that we can still be friends. Mama, please. I miss you. Chichi. Ma. You know I've always loved you. You're my daughter. Yay! <laughs> Great. Now listen, you have to save me some time tomorrow for some lovely pictures, photo shoot, and this wedding tomorrow. Don't forget. Um, yeah, yeah, sure. yeah, no problem. Sure. Sure. Agree. I, I have to go. I have work to do. It's okay.
daughter and my daughter. Mama, oh. have you noticed the tension that erupts whenever your brother and their children come close to each other? Yes, Mama. In fact, I have strong reasons to believe that Chinese's continuous stay here spells trouble. We'd have just gotten another Quechua. <sighs> My own is that God should help them realize their mistake before it is too late. Mama, you don't get it, or do you? The gravest mistake here is in me withholding the fact that the person they contracted to cook their wedding meals is no other than his ex wife. whatever it is they call you. How could you? How could you come into my home with such ulterior motives? To poison a mecca and I, is that it? I beg your pardon? What? what what's going on? Hey, hey! Don't you dare accuse my sister of such nonsense. Who do you think you are? Hey, 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 hey! What's going on here? Riley, why don't you just keep the tone down? The neighbors can hear you, I'm sure. Hey, because I do not care about who hears me at this point. And you have lots of explaining to do. Why did you not tell me about the identity of this woman? Why did you tell me she was your bloody ex-wife? Oh. Is that what this whole thing? That's it, Emeka. That's it. So I do not I do not have the right to know. I do not have the right to decide whether I want to eat a meal prepared by your ex-wife or not. Is that it? Valerie, just calm down, okay? You're being very unreasonable right now. Yes, Naya and I were uh, divorced. That is my ex does not mean that. It affects our professionalism. <laughs> or should you stop us from continuing using her as our chef? Emeka, if you believe that, you can possibly believe anything. Yes! And I am not having it! I am not having it! What is that supposed to mean? It means your ex-wife is fired! Yes! She has to go. As a matter of fact, we have to find another Ketra or there will be no wedding. You're being very unreasonable right now, you know that, right? I do not care! Um, Valerie, please calm down. Tomorrow is your wedding. Nina and her team have started the cooking preparation already. Oh, please, please, please stay out of this, Mama, okay? Stay out of this. You are also a conspiracy to this act. You knew and you decided to keep me out of it. So do not sit down there and act like you are with me when you are actually against me. Valerie, don't you dare talk to me like that. Oh, please, it's not Valerie, me nothing. And then I meant everything I said. Your ex wife must leave or there will be no way. What you have to say. So, if you don't mind. Get out of his chair. You are so naive. But it's okay. Just send my regards to him. Bye. I can't wait to see the expression on Emmy's face when he finds out that we are expecting. <laughs> oh God, should I just call? No, 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 no. I'm gonna surprise him. <laughs> Is that him? Oh my God! Let me. Oh. If you want concrete proof that Emeka and I are lovers. Come to number 32 Okunsaki Avenue, first floor, back flat.
So, hello. How much this has hurt you? Like, you, you can't even begin to imagine, Mama. This was the exact situation I was trying to avoid from the onset. I didn't want to remember the past. I didn't want to remember. Now I remember, and it hurts like it was yesterday. You've got what you wanted, right? I hope you're happy. Don't be ridiculous, Hadora. What do you want me to think? Your behavior reeks of nothing more than suspicion. So tell me. If you didn't have ulterior motive, why did you accept this job knowing that Emeka was your ex? Hold it, Adora. Just hold it. Before you start throwing accusations on my sister. You know very well that we didn't know that Emeka was the groom of this wedding. Before we came here, we never knew about it. Is that so? Yes, it is so. And don't you think your sister here should have rejected the job at that point? Huh? That ought to be the wisest thing to do. Except, of course, she didn't come here to view my brother's life once you again. You know, that's enough. That's enough, Adora. I will not, for one more minute, listen to your insults and unfounded allegations. FYI, it was your brother who blackmailed me into continuing with the cooking contract. Yes, because as soon as I find out he was the groom-to-be, I wanted to leave. Oh, really? Yes. How come I I don't give a r what you believe or not, okay? And as you can see, I was packing before you came here to infect me with your toxicity. No, if you don't mind, please. Excuse me? You heard her right. Out. <laughs> of course, there is no way you guys are throwing me out of this room because this is my brother's house. Yes, it may be your brother's house. But as long as I'm the occupant in this room, it is my room and I have the right to say, get the hell out. Really? No. Now. Before I physically do that. Mama, you have to calm down. I understand totally how you feel, but you should understand that Valerie's threat was about calling up the wedding was just nothing. She was just mounting. Listen, damn everything, okay? Damn everything. Like, who's Valerie with you to threaten me? Who is she to threaten me and give me some What do you want me to say? She felt threatened and she reacted. But 
Come on. You should have told her about Chine now. Come on. This same exact reaction was what I was avoiding. That's what I didn't tell her in the first place. Did you say Carlos should look my mom? The poor man broke down and started crying. Hey, you have to calm down. You have to just calm down. Put yourself together. <sighs> so we can start looking for an another caterer. I'm pretty sure that um, Chine will not stay back after all those insults. Well, would you blame her? Would you blame the poor girl? It's all my fault she stayed. She wanted to leave, but I insisted her to stay. And I'll see. Let's just see everything. Uh, so, do you, by chance, have an option B? Of course not. Seriously, who, who, who serious caterer would actually come take this last minute job? Look at the time. And it's tomorrow. How? Inika, you have to find a way to make Valerie understand. I mean, you, you have the joker. Just make her understand. Instead of ruining your, your wedding. Eh? I understand. Just calm down and talk to her. I'm sure she will understand. Emeka! Hey, my goodness, what are you doing here? Please just leave, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have come to apologize to you. I realize how hurtful Valerie's insults were to you. I'm sorry about that. Oh, oh. Um. It's fine, really. I guess I understand her angst. If it were me, I guess I'll be uncomfortable if my husband's ex was yeah, You don't have to defend her, okay? You don't have to defend her. Valerie has no right to insult you. Yes, we're divorced, but I can't stand anyone insulting you in my presence. I won't allow it. But Valerie's going to be your wife. Yes, and you're still. I'm still nothing. I'm still nothing. Emeka, please stop. Whatever it is you're trying to do, just stop, okay? God forbid that I be the reason why your wedding is not holding tomorrow. Really. Please don't do this. You have all been how much we stand to lose. No other caterer is going to take up this job last minute. When the half of the things have been cooked. But Valerie, she, she will... Don't worry about Valerie. I'll handle her. Okay? I'll handle her. Besides, Valerie, I'm, I'm not sure I want to continue with this contract, really. It's not comfortable. Janaya, please. This is me begging you to reconsider. For all time's sake. Has the tramp left yet? Valerie. Uh, Emeka, please. This is very simple. You've come out here to ask me about reconsidering our wedding rights. And I ask you a simple question. Has your stupid ex-wife left yet? No, she hasn't. <laughs> Chine has been gracious enough to continue cooking for the wedding. Mm -hmm. Despite how bad you spoke to her. Really? Emeka, why don't you run along and tell her we do not need her favors? She just comes into our home, act like a saint when she's a devil Just herself. stop it already, okay? Stop it! She's none of those things you say she is. Okay, baby. Look, have you ever thought of the fact that she came into our lives? She, she took this contract just to hurt us and get her revenge? Chine is none of these things you say she is. Now, if you must know, Chine is the most understanding, loving, and most enjoying person I have ever known. My God. She would have had to fly. Really? <laughs> what kind of man describes his ex-wife like you just did? Wait, what's the plan? You would agree to poison me, kill me, and then get back together, marry again? Is Do that the plan? Do not be ridiculous, okay? Don't be ridiculous. If you must remember, you employed her, yes. not me. Mm -hmm. So I had an idea she's a chef that was coming. Good. I mean, wonderful. You know, it's cool that you realize the fact that I employ her and not you. And I reserve the right to fire her and that's exactly what I am going to do now. Excuse me. Where the hell is that? Stop Where is she? Where is that mischievous? Oh. Sorry. There you are. So you succeeded in convincing Emeka to come plead with me. So you 
what can continue your love affair under my nose? Is that so? Get what, darling? You have failed. You have completely, totally failed this time. You know what? No, I, I can't do this. You know what, Emeka? I'm done. I'm done. No, 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 Stop it! What is wrong with you? How dare you beg her in front of me? And what do you take me for? Listen, listen, Valerie. You need to calm down. As a matter of fact, it's late already for her to go. And just think about your wedding tomorrow. Getting another girl is even not possible. Oh, please, 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 just, just, just be just, reasonable just, just, about shut it. Up. Please, shut up and stay out of this, okay? And do not tell me to be reasonable. I do not want this witch in my wedding, and that's fine now. Wow, is that so? Yes. Wait. What exactly are you afraid of, Valerie? That what? I'm going to snatch a makeup from me by putting a love potion in his food? <laughs> well, news flash, girlfriend. I don't need a love potion to get a maker if I want it to. Just so you know, some old flames don't totally die. It's all in you. <laughs> wow. I am sure you all had the witch. And as for you, Emeka, I am too much of a woman to be trapped with a man who still licks the ass of his ex. So you both can go to hell and blaze. This marriage is over. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Tears in your eyes, you say you're not crying. See your eyes, you're crying. I mean, you would see it. It's about Emeka, right? You're crying because of him. I know you're crying because of your failed marriage. Oh gosh. We should never have taken that blasted job. Oh, it's just... I was thinking about the failed marriage. But above all, I was thinking about my baby that was lost in the process. What are you talking about me? What baby are you talking about? Talk to me. Of course you don't know. You see, that fateful day when I caught Emeka with his lover, I had just come back from the hospital. Where the doctor confirmed I was two months pregnant. Oh my God. Don't tell me it's what I'm thinking. Don't tell me you lost your baby in the process. I was angry. I was hurt. I wasn't, I didn't see where I was going. And so I had a serious fall that led to a miscarriage. I never knew. I'm so sorry. No, no, this. no, it's fine. It's not your fault. Come on, it's, not, it's nobody's fault. It's, it's it's not your fault. It's nobody's fault. It's it's my fault. Did you just say your fault? How can you even say such a thing? I did. No, you didn't. Emeka caused it. He's the reason for all this. Don't even blame yourself. Please, don't. <laughs> no, Oma. I have grown up since then. I'm not going to give Emeka that kind of power. It was my fault. You know that saying? What you don't know cannot kill you. If I had not gone to that address, then no miscarriage. So it's fine. I'm so sorry. You have to go through all this. Good. Now that the wedding has been called off, tell me, what's the next line of action? The wedding has been cancelled. It's just been postponed. I hope I'm not thinking what you're thinking. Oh, well, it depends on what you're thinking. <laughs> you're still hung up over her, right? 
hung up about her exactly. You know who I'm talking about, so just come out straight and tell me. Your ex-wife, of course. <sighs> yes, I am. I mean, mm. what would you have me do? You know, it took me seeing her again to know that I've actually not gotten over her. I still miss her. You won't be son of a god. <laughs> do you know what you did could have had you killed? I know. I know, but I mean, it's not better that way than being a, a loveless relationship with Valerie. Yeah, a marriage where she'll just be the one loving and I'm thinking of my ex-wife on my first marriage. So you want her back? Yeah, yeah. Of course I want her back, but that's if she would want me back. My man, if you want your woman, go for her. It's better late than never. And more especially, remember that I have my groomsman Talks the were to, to be won. <laughs> yeah, of course I remember. <laughs> All the best, man. Thanks. All the best. So Thanks. you got me. All, right. no, no, All no, no, the no, best, no. man. <laughs> All the best. Man, I'll miss you, bro. I'll I will miss you. you. I will see you soon. <sighs> Um, Emeka, what a surprise. I, you should have called to make an appointment. My 11 o'clock appointment is scheduled already. That's fine, okay. <laughs> Sit down. Truth is, I am your 11 o'clock appointment. Yes, way. You tricked me. You didn't use your name, so I wouldn't have known. Tell me, if I had used my name, would you have wanted to see me? I wouldn't have. But it's a good thing that you came because um, Omar tells me that you want us to hold on to your money because your wedding has been postponed. Oh yes, it has. Hmm. It's been postponed. Well, I'm sorry I can't help you because <laughs> you have to find another caterer. I obviously cannot cook at your wedding, right? Oh, of course, I understand all that. Mm. You know, I see how that's going to be a big problem because you can't be the chef at your own wedding, you know. So I asked him to ask you if you could talk to your team of experts to do something, you know, on that day. I'm sorry, say that again. Nah, you heard me. What's up? All I'm trying to say is that seeing you again for three years made me realize that I should have never let you go. Really? Yes. You are such an arrogant fool. To think you can just waltz into my office with this gibberish. Please get out of my office. As you have nothing better to say. Get out. Fine, I'll go. But just know this. I will always love you. you make her go. And I know deep down, you feel the same way too. Go! See you soon. and tell me what's getting so upset. Hmm. Though, I don't know it's okay, do I? <laughs> Can you imagine? Can you just imagine? He told me. Emeka told me that he wants me back. He what? Exactly. After all the pain that he's put me through, after all the agony and pain, he has the nerve to walk into my office with that gibberish. I am so sorry, sis. But that is totally ridiculous. <laughs> is he joking or what? Look, he's always joking. That's the point. He's always joking. He's always a bloody joker. But you know what? I don't even care. I'm going to get myself a spam donor, get myself a child. He can go to... Calm down, okay? Calm down. It's me, Omar. Not your ex, Emeka Stanley Hayes. Omar Stanley, fond of you. Okay? He gets me so angry. Just relax. You, you scare me with all that vehemence, all this display. You're really scaring me. Just calm down. I'm here for you.
button down when I make her. First of all, I am not your sweetheart. Secondly, do I need to get a restraining order against you? Come on, Lanae. That'll be too much for you. <laughs> don't underestimate me, Emeka. Now, if you don't mind, my date will be returning, so I suggest you leave. Listen, <clears throat> I think we should just forget that whole idea of you having a, a date or a baby father or you being a baby mama because that shit isn't gonna fly. It's not gonna fly at all. First of all, it's single mother, not baby mama. And second of all, I think you're really, really deluded. Really, really deluded. Chine, all I am is a man of love. A man who's desperate and willing to do anything to get the love of his life back. Listen, just give me a chance, okay? I'm sorry for everything that happened in the past. <laughs> but let's bring this back to life. Let me be your baby father. Let me be the father of your children. Just like the one we lost. How dare you? How dare you speak about my child? It was because of you that I lost him. How dare you? I hate you so much that I wish it would... if it was legal, I would kill you. Now just leave. Leave before I scream. Go! I said go! Just leave me alone! I didn't trust him enough. That's what it all boils down to. I mean, our marriage, your born child, all up in smoke just because I didn't trust him enough. Yeah, I get you, Six, I understand. But you also have to agree with me that to the much evidence presented, yes, they were untrue, I know. Trust was the hardest virtue for anyone to require of us at that time. I mean, a whole lot of women out there would have drawn the same conclusion as you did. So please, don't beat yourself up over this. 
I still don't get it. Like, how can a woman be so devious to her fellow woman? Like, she set out to, to destroy my marriage and she succeeded. But did America marry her? No, he didn't. Come on, sis. Haven't you heard the saying that women are their own worst enemies? Yes, but it's not supposed to be that way. Women are supposed to be helping each other up, not tearing the other down. That's the only way we can grow. That's the only way we can succeed. Yeah, I agree with you. I do. Um, so, what are you going to do now? Are you to reconcile him? I don't know, Oma. I, I, I don't know. I just... Or, maybe the right question is... Do you still love him? Oh, oh my. You know, after three whole years, I suddenly realized that I still love him, Mecca. I never stopped loving him. And I don't know if it's a good thing or. I don't know what to do if I should go this way or to go this way. You, you need to tell me what to do. It's okay, it's okay, sis. Okay, we're in this together. Sort it out. It's okay. I don't know. This thing called love The type that comes from above It's so powerful and wonderful it's like a gift passed from God oh when it fights you you'll be hooked oh when it fights you you'll have no choice but to love it doesn't matter oh who you are whether rich or poor you, you have no other choice but to love and be loved and be done. Ah, no one can stop it, no matter what they do or say. Oh, because it's the kind of love from God. The love is a gift from above. True love. Oh, let them be 